Okay, it looks like we got an update tonight. It came in pretty late, but I happen to still be up. It's 1230 right now. So the big thing here, uh, this is 2022-20-5. Uh, I didn't even get that 20. Uh, I just went out the dash five. It did look like there was one release before this. The first thing is the seatbelt system enhancement. So the seatbelt uh, system enhancement is pretty amazing. So basically they are now taking into consideration their vision technology before an accident happens that your seatbelt will tighten. So before you even get in a crash, the seatbelt will already start to secure you in your seat. Again, it's uh, just another aspect of Tesla that's pretty amazing about vehicle safety, I guess is a better way to say it. Just a very amazing feature. The next one is the one I'm quite interested in is green traffic light chime. A chime will play when the traffic light you are waiting for turns green. If you're waiting behind another vehicle, the chime will play once the vehicle advances unless the traffic light cruise control or auto steer is activated. Note, this chime is only de designed as a notification if the driver's responsibility to observe the environment and take decisions accordingly. I think that's the same thing that Tesla always says about any of their autopilot or anything like that aspects that they have. I'm guessing this is something that people with full self-drive have, that there's a chime when you get to a, a traffic light and also when you're behind a car that is in front of you. So I'll be interested to see how this works tomorrow when I drive and give you a heads up on, on what it does. Uh, green light traffic chime, you have to turn it on under your autopilot section. So if you notice there uh, under autopilot, it's just down at the bottom. It is temporarily turned off right now. And if you hit here, it just gives you the same information that was on the, the download screen there. So I will uh, put this on and we will uh, see how it how it works and then the this last one as far as i know is just for the people with the model x s but uh it's to do with tire configuration for uh for the vehicles so it's nothing to do with the the model 3 as far as i know but i will look a little bit deeper into this that just thought i'd give you a little heads up that i'll we got an update and Maybe one isn't substantial uh, change here, which is nice. It took a long time for the update to happen. It was one of the longer ones for, for something that's only giving us three things. So I will uh, give you more tomorrow on what exactly this is all about when I drive. Please like and subscribe. And down below if you have any questions about the update, and I will try to answer them. Uh, have a great day.